are setting up different headers and footers in the same document, that discussion is always going to lead us into something called section breaks. Now I talked about that in the previous video. Uh, we went over how to use section breaks to change the orientation uh, of this page here to landscape and not affect any of the other pages in my document. Well, because we have the section breaks in there now, we can apply the same functionality to headers and footers. So what I need to realize first is that my document has three sections. I'm going to zoom out so we can actually look at this document a little bit bigger. I have the first page where I've put a next page section break at the bottom and that's generated page two here and essentially ended the section. So page one is section one. Then on this next page I did another section break so that means this is section two. And the remainder of the sections are section three. Okay, and that's, that's what the document is thinking. What I want to do is I want to create a header and footer that says, you know, September report, chapter one. And that includes this first page as well as the second page. So that will be sections one and two. Then section three, I want it to say, you know, chapter three. Or sorry, chapter two, confusing myself. And because the chapter one ended with this graphic. And then chapter two starts here and goes on to the end of the document. So, got that all straight in your mind? Because I think I just barely do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over how you would set that up. So assuming you have the section breaks in place, I'm going to zoom back in on page one here. Here we go. So on page one, I'm going to go into my header and footer. And that was done, again, in a previous video if you need information about headers and footers. But that's done on the Insert tab. I'm going to click Header, choose Edit Header. You could also just double click in the header and that's going to take you there as well. I've just always gone through the tab, so that's the habit I'm in. Here's what you want to note. In the top, it tells me this is the header for section one. So September report, I'm going to put a dash after that. I'm going to type chapter one. While we're here, I'm just going to turn off my show hide so it's a little bit cleaner. Okay, so I'm okay with that. If I scroll down, it's got page one at the bottom. Notice that I keep scrolling. Here I am, header section two. Remember, second page was section two because we broke the section. And this still says September report, chapter one. Wonderful. No problems. Okay? I'm going to scroll down. There's a footer section two. Here I am, header section three. And now it says September report, chapter one. I want to change that to chapter two. Here's what you can't do. And here's what a lot of people, where a lot of people run into problems with headers and footers and section breaks. Because naturally it seems, you know what, this is perfect, I'm just going to change this to a 2, and I'm done. Here's the problem. If I go check my previous sections now, they've changed to a 2. And so this is a nightmare that, you know, we all kind of experience with headers and footers in different sections. I'm going to change this back to 1. You always want to look out for a little a box over on the right here that says same as previous. Okay, and what that means is even though I have section break in, it's linking all these headers and footers together because it assumes you still want to keep them all the same. In this case, we don't. So we actually have to deactivate that. And here's how you do it. When you're in your header or your footer, you go to the Design tab, and then there's a button that's active here that says Link to Previous. It's only going to be active if you have section breaks in your document. So if I unclick that button, you'll notice that box disappeared over on the side, and now I'm free to change Section 3 to chapter 2. If I go look at the previous sections, they still say chapter 1 because they're still all linked up. Remember section 2 here, still connected, linked to previous, to the previous section. However, section 3, we deactivate it so we're free to change it on our own. One thing to watch out for is your footer is linked separately. So if you wanted your footer to be different, you'd have to click that same button again. So hopefully that explains a little bit of the confusion when you're using section breaks and different headers and footers.